is your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Actually, it's 12.09 and the clouds have kind of billowed on in. Some moisture over the mountains trying to get its way into Colorado, but it's warm with a 70 mile per or 70 degree temperature. The winds are trying to come in out of the north. That cold front is starting to try to pop over Monument Hill, so we will likely stay at this temperature or start to go down for the rest of the afternoon as we go and look around the rest of the region. Now, Pueblo, that wind is still out of the west pretty aggressively, so I bet we get 78, 79 for the high temperature, but as the front comes on through, the winds switch out of the north, and it'll start to cool down. This is just a warm day for Pueblo, and that wind is strong. Now, it's warming a a lot quicker out east by La Hunta Lamar as we were ex expecting, excuse me, with 45 in Westcliff, 60s in Walsenburg, and Westcliff is been getting a little rain. At least on the map it showed up as rain. We'll show radar in a little bit. Wind gusts, we know they are still quite strong coming off the mountains. So between 40 to 50 miles per hour showing up between Pueblo and Trinidad. And our forecast wind gusts actually show that wind switching out of the north as we're expecting but then getting a little stronger. So notice the wind gusts are 4 o'clock or in the 30 mile per hour range in the springs. But check out the plains this evening, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, 30, 40. And if there's a couple of 50 mile per hour gusts out east, it would not surprise me one little bit. So it's already windy and it's going to stay that way well into the evening. Red flag warnings are in effect across the plains. These lighter reds are fire weather watches, which will turn into red flag warnings tomorrow. So tomorrow the mountains get some of that red flag and fire danger. There is a little bit of rain coming against the mountains as I talked about, but a lot of those are staying over the peaks. So a few showers have likely dipped into West Cliff. We're seeing a bit more coverage by Cuchara, Levita, so over the southern edge of the Sangres. Not much is coming out to the interstate, and that was kind of expected. In fact, if you look at the model, really just spotty showers make it to I-25. I think the bigger thing we're watching for is some spotty showers to collect over Monument, Woodland Park Springs, and then push east and southeast into the plains to the afternoon. Now, the air is so dry that the model is probably showing more rain than will actually hit the ground. So how we've compensated, as I'm saying, Colorado Springs, prepare for an isolated chance of rain towards the end of the day. Could see a little rain shower out there. It is a little better over towards Monument. 63 tomorrow, so a little windy, kind of crisp outside, chillier Sunday, Monday. And as we go towards next week, I'm seeing some snow out there on Thursday, and it probably is going to be a little cooler than we have on the model right there. I think the newer model runs will probably drag that temperature down. So stick with us this weekend. Pueblo, 70s turn to 70 on the dot tomorrow, and then we're going to go to the 60s on Sunday, Monday. A lot of wind through this weekend. So cooler temperatures, you're going to like the fall, but it is going to be with a good chunk of wind, as I mentioned. Canyon City, just like Pueblo, I don't really have any rain or snow in the forecast until Thursday. Cooling into Friday or cooling into Monday and then even cooler out towards Thursday. Finally, Woodland Park, Pikes Peak will probably start looking a little white over towards next Thursday. Until then, maybe an isolated shower later today and a couple flurries are possible Sunday morning.